It's, it is two, and of course I'm not ready yet. Like, why would I be ready? Um, so I'm gonna do my morning routine. <laughs> Slash just my makeup. Slash just washing my face and doing makeup. So let's get started. So excited. I have a headache. So that's great. <laughs> And my body hurts. I don't know why. <laughs> Honestly. It's okay. It's okay. My stomach hurts. That hasn't been brushed today, of course. Because why would you do that? Is that cute? Totally. Totally not. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in the back thing. Fun thing. We're gonna wash our hands first. Become a clean being. Because we're gonna be touching our face. And you know. I try and make these videos like morning and night routines where I'm doing like face masks or touching my face or anything as professional as possible. So Hands are clean. Time to wet our face. Okay. Now time to put some soap on our face. No, I don't have a fancy soap. I'm just washing my face. Break your soap. No, I'm really just probably gonna wash like my eyes and cheeks or something. I don't know. But it's fine. Okay. I really don't wanna get my hair in this. So, and I just got my hair in it. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, turn on this on. Giving me some more soap for the eyes.
tell him to pat dry the face because, you know, it's bad to just wipe it. Okay. And yes, I've been laying in bed all day. So I haven't even brushed my teeth or my hair. Okay. Yes, I know that it is 157. But I'd rather lay in bed. Yeah. We're just gonna brush my teeth and then we'll brush our hair. So yeah. gonna be over here brushing my teeth. No big deal. Um just enjoy. That just glitch. Okay, probably. Um. Okay, we're done. My hands are wet. That's okay. Um. So, let's move on to brush my hair in just like two seconds. Okay. I don't want it. Please try. Um, might have been not up. I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's go. 
go in my room. Start doing makeup. So this is my room. Um, welcome. If you don't know. Um, so we got makeup over here. Light over here. I'm gonna grab and bring over to this desk so you know reasons so that I can see what I'm doing in good lighting. Cause I don't have the best of lighting. So yeah. You need some better lighting up in here. Boom. My mirror's dirty. She be dirty. Oh wait, I have a screen thing. I can use this. It's for my glasses. I can use it for that, right? Yeah, I think so. See why not? Probably just got that all dirty with makeup stuff, but who cares? I just use it on my glasses, it's no big deal. Boom! We got a cleanish mirror. Okay, so let's start with some primer. We're gonna do face primer and some eye primer. That's probably not actually eye primer. That I probably just call eye primer. Um, it's a miniature primer, so I use it on my eyes. <laughs> okay. Put all but this on. Hello? You in there? A little for the other eye. And a little bit for the under of my eye. Y'all are just like watching me do this and probably like, oh my god, she has no clue what she's doing. But just wait till the final product comes out and y'all see that I'm actually kind of good at makeup. I'm not that good, but I'm still young. I'm still learning. Mommy says, come on. Why? Because. Okay. Let's go grab something to eat real quick. Where? In the kitchen, dumbass. <laughs> Well, you said, let's go. Well, I mean, walk down the hall or something. I don't give a shit. How? Come on, Manny. Okay, I have hair in my eyeball. Oh, God. Is there still an eye in my eyeball? An eye in my... A hair in my eyeball. Oh, my God. Okay. So, looks like we're going on eating. Um, with primer on our face. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in the kitchen and eat. I'll be back. It's clumpy. I don't like that. 
Why is it clumpy? Okay. Like, why is it clumpy? It's clumpy. My primer hasn't done that before. Okay. It's probably not a good idea to be sitting on my heater as a chair, but <laughs> it's fine. So, I'm put on some foundation now. My stomach hurts. I probably started my period, but I don't feel anything except like cramps, and that usually happens like all the time. I don't know. I've just been having stomach problems where my stomach will start hurting, will like hurt all day, every day for no reason at all. I don't know why. Um,. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's, it's, well, it's not normal. Like, it started after one of my periods and never went away, never stopped happening after that one period. And I thought that it would have gone away in, like, the next, after my next period, it never, it never went away. Um, I really don't know what's wrong. I don't know if something is even wrong. It might just be like stomach hurting i i really don't know um one time i took ibuprofen for it and it stopped hurting and i don't feel like taking ibuprofen every day i really don't um so i don't know it could be it could be bad i don't know um i don't know what's going on with my stomach just really does what it wants I guess. Um, but yeah. So, at this point, I really don't know if it's my period or not. Really don't know. Um, so yeah. Um. But... My period should be coming soon, so the cramps are kind of worse. It's probably going to start today or tomorrow. That's going to happen in like three days or less. I don't know. <laughs> Though, so, yeah. Um, this looks really cakey because I'm doing it with a brush, so I'm just going to... Blend it with a beauty blender. Um, to get up to kind of not be have lines and strokes or whatever. Um, so yeah, just give me a minute while I do that. Okay, so I did that. My stomach's really hurting. I don't know why. I just want it to stop. Why were girls getting a period? Please explain to me why. Like, why? Like, I was told it's because you need to lose, like, the edge of blood. Like, wh why? Why don't guys need to lose their edge of blood? That's not fair. Like, why isn't everyone given extra blood? <sighs> like, that's not fair. Is it true that it's like the same as a heart attack, like the cramps? Is that true? Is that how much we can handle? Like... What? Please tell me that's not true.
Okay. My stomach hurts really bad. I'm sorry if I'm complaining a lot, but like, it hurts. I should probably take ibuprofen or something. I don't know. So, I got a question for girls. Has your period ever been really bad that you have thrown up? Because I've gotten people that said no to that, and I've gotten people that have said yes to that. Like, I am curious. And this is not a frugal coverage concealer, by the way, so that's why I'm going in again and doing more. Um... So in the comments, if you're watching this, tell me. I'm curious to know the answer. Um, Um, want to hear a quick story time? So, basically, I was at school one day, and my cramps were really bad. They were, the office was debating on sending me to home or not. And when I got home, I literally threw up. I threw up clear. I didn't even have anything that threw up. I, it was literally clear that came out. It was probably water. That's all I had to throw up, I think. So I just threw up water. Literally, clear, no taste, water. Threw that up as soon as I got home. Like. <laughs> I've once done a Zoom class. Same thing. 30 minutes after the Zoom class was over. I threw up. I freaking threw up. It, I threw up. Like. Um. My headaches also make me throw up. Like I, I get really bad headaches. Um, technically they're called migraines. I'm supposed to take a medicine for them, but I really don't. I, like, don't, so. But I used to, and I think I was taking it at the time. Every time I would start throwing up, I think I did take the med- No. The medicine helps with the headaches, I think. I don't know anymore, okay? Um, I haven't taken it in a while, but I don't know if I was on it or not that the days that I've- gone home but some of the days that i go home i'd like throw up um some of the days i just get medicine taken to school because you're not allowed to have um non-prescription stuff at the school um because ibuprofen isn't a prescription um so yeah um, and if you do bring medicine, you're technically supposed to give it to the office. And I just gave up on that rule and kind of started taking medicine in my bag. Like ibuprofen, because it's bad. And also for period cramps. Um, you see, there's this thing in my family where my family, they bleed through. Like, a lot. I have never bled through. I bled through my underwear, and, oh wait, I bled through once. That I bled through my pants once, but it didn't, like, leave anything on the seat that I was on. So, but I did bleed through and onto my pants, which I've never done that before except once, so. I don't know if I'll get that when I'm older or not. I feel like I'd get it now, since I started my period. Um, if I were to even have that, so, yeah, I don't know. 
Honestly, this is just so unorganized. I need organizers for this. Because this is not working. Okay, I'm done trying to mess with that. So, anyways. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Um, let's talk about my girlfriend, because I said so. Um, me and my girlfriend started dating on the 16th of June, I'm pretty sure, um, of this year. Um, so, not too long ago. Um... So, it's almost been two months that we've been dating. Like, almost two months. And... Um... She actually lives close to me. I usually do long-distance relationships instead of, like, in-person relationships, if that makes sense. I think you know what I mean. Um, so, I'm kind of happy that she lives close to me. She literally lives, like, it's like a five-minute drive, 50-minute walk. I know 50 minutes seems like a lot to walk, but I feel like she did it faster than that. But it's literally a five-minute drive, maybe less. Like, it's like a five-minute drive, but yeah. And so, really happy about that. I started it. I started it. <laughs> I started it. There's no. I, I bet I started it. I just felt something. I could be imagining it or I could be actually feeling it. But I, I felt something. <laughs> Hopefully, it's just my imagination. I'm gonna go see if I started it. So, update. Um, I just started it. Literally, I went to the bathroom and one drop of blood came out. And then I went and took medicine. Well, at least I caught it before I bled in my underwear. But yes, I did change my underwear because I wasn't wearing underwear. Not I was wearing underwear, but I wasn't wearing period underwear, so I had to change it to some period underwear. Um, anyways. So happy that I'm just talking about this with you guys. Literally. I knew something was off. My stomach never hurts that bad. I knew I had to have started it. I just wish that I wouldn't have. It's a life, so. Anyways, here's the palette I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try and do like a fall look since like the next season is fall, I think, right? Um, might as well start it. Start doing some fall looks, you know? Why not? Have this palette and it's really just like reds and oranges and pinks. It's 
Now, I'm gonna do a nice orangey look. I'm not using these brushes on second thought because I don't wanna get those mixed with my blacks because those are my special brushes. So, let's get these two brushes. And then if I have one of those flat ones in here, be nice to use one of those. Found it. Okay, let's do some orange. So we're gonna use this one. I'm going in with this one. Just gonna start blending it in. Oh, I had the flu for the first time a little while ago. Wanna talk about that? I was throwing up. Well, the first time that I can remember that having it, like actually knowing I had it. But now that I think about it, there, there was this one time when I was throwing up over and over again. But um, anyways, I was like very sick. And my stomach was hurting really bad on a bike ride. And I literally was like, oh, it's probably just my stomach. It always does this. Like, it's being, it's always annoying. Always does this, right? I was like, it's normal. Like, nothing's wrong. It just hurts because I'm riding a bike and walking and stuff. And I need more exercise. So I'm like, I'm gonna ignore it. I was with a friend. And so I was like, hey, mm, it's getting late, I gotta go. But really, I was just like, mm, I was hurting. And I needed to go home because I felt like I was gonna throw up. So I went home. Um, and basically when I got home, I sat down, I think, and then went to the bathroom, threw up. It was hard to, it was easy to throw up that time. Um, and then, um, so then. I realized, oh, everyone else in my family has the flu. It's my turn. Like, it's my turn. I got it. I was like, this sucks. And laid in bed the whole time. Um. Threw up a lot had nothing to throw up it was literally my stomach hurts so bad and i was just throwing up the only thing that actually helped was otter pops those little otter pop things the icicle things that have flavor those were the only thing that i could keep down and helped with my stomach now here's the funny part i was dating someone okay i was dating someone um and then I had an ex 
and they called me, like they FaceTimed me or whatever, I think it was a FaceTime, no it wasn't a FaceTime, it was just a call, um, and it was like, hey, I'm sick, and they were like, hey, and we just talked about stuff, and Um, I was hurting so bad that I accidentally moaned. And they were like, did you just? And I'm like, no, I, I didn't. <laughs> and they were like, I know when you, and I'm like, but I, and they're like, I thought you were sick. And I, and I was like, I am <laughs> Like, it was out of pain. I didn't say that, but it was out of pain. I it still denied the fact that I even did it. I'm not going to admit to that. Um, and they asked if the person I was dating even cared if I was sick. And I was like, yeah, they care. They care. Um. It was more of a they kind of care. But anyways, I was on the phone with the person I was dating at the time, like, before that. And I was like, hey, I'm sick and whatever. And I literally have to mute them and turn my camera off and run to the bathroom. It was so bad. Um, but yeah. Anyways, that's my life. I think I'm gonna do the whole eyelid that color. On second thought, I was just gonna leave it like blank right there and do something else, like a different color, but I found out what I was actually gonna do, so now I'm just gonna do that. Um, so school starts in a little, right? I'm going into 8th. Literally, I'm getting a new t math teacher. I'm getting a new math teacher. I literally cried when I was going into 6th because I was so nervous for middle school to start. That was going to be my first year in middle school, you know? And I was, like, so nervous. I literally was panicking, crying, and... Seventh was, like, good. Like, I can handle seventh. But the thing is, I had the right to be so nervous to go into sixth. Okay, the teacher sucked. He was so mean. So I had every right. I will still have him because, you know, that's how middle school works. Each teacher does a certain subject. But, you know. Um, basically, yeah. Um, but now I'm going to in the 8th, and I have, like, the most curious teacher ever. I'm going to, and I'm just not ready for that. Like, I'm really not ready for that. I didn't even do highlighter. <clears throat> I'm literally gonna die. Okay. But, yeah. I'm nervous. I should I'm nervous and I feel like I'm gonna have mental breakdowns again and be like and have that nervousness scaredness thing go on again and happen and I probably will um and everyone's like hey are you excited to go into eighth and I'm like no no I'm not and I know I'm gonna be the same way going into my first year of high school I know I'm gonna be the exact same way have mental breakdowns all that because I'm gonna be so nervous like that's not exciting that is scary like thank you for inventing school and making me have mental breakdowns like yeah school is so awesome I am so excited to go into freaking eighth I am so excited dude honestly the future is just scary to me literally so scary 
Okay, no, I don't like that color either. Um, like, how do you do things in life? Like, how, like, can someone tell me? Like, how do you apply for health insurance? Okay, let's, let's do that. How do you apply for health insurance? Like, hello. How do, how do you do that? How do I apply for health insurance? How do... How do you do that? Someone, please tell me. Because school won't teach you that. Like, I'm going to die. Going into the real world. How do you apply for a job? Because, like, I tried to even search for one. And I got all these fake messages. How do you do that? Like, do you just walk in and be like, hey, do you have a job application, job open? Like, do you do that? Is it an online thing? Like, how, how, like, I have an idea of how you do that. That one's pretty easy. I think it's pretty easy to buy, um, a house and car. You just, like, get a mortgage company. But I'm really, like, concerned on how, how do you... How do you, how do you get health insurance? How do you get car insurance? Oh wait, I think that comes when you buy the car. But how do you get health insurance? Whoa, serious question here. How do I do that? Like how? Someone please tell me. Um. I'm nervous I won't have enough money to even buy a house or car. I'm nervous. I'm scared. How oh, do you do anything in life? I'm so confused. Um, it's scary. It's just scary. Yeah. Should I even try and use this as contour? Not knowing how to do it? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm not going to. But yeah. I don't know. It's just scary to me. That's all. I don't understand fully yet. Maybe I will later. How do you apply for college? How do you do that? How do you find the college you want? How do you know what the college teaches? You just, like, I don't like searching because it doesn't give you an actual answer. You have to dive in and search, and I get bored of that because you never end up actually getting the answer you want. It's always leading you to different websites and different things and never actually talks about what you want to know. So, how do I know I'm going to the college I want to go to? 
Because the name of the college isn't going to tell me what I'm going to college for. Like UW. Sounds like you're going to... Sounds like you're going to... I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I'm just confused. I don't know. But, anyways. Just next. Okay. So, let's do mascara. And what? Okay, hang on, I gotta look for it. Okay, got that stuff. We're doing mascara first. Mm -hmm. I know this ain't looking like the best thing I've ever done, and that's because I usually do more natural and not like this. And I'm also trying something new with this, like, highlight right there. I've never done that. So it doesn't look the best. I know. I said it was going to look good. <laughs> I lied. Okay, I lied. Sorry.
Okay. I feel like y'all are probably thinking this isn't looking, like, really good. I'm sorry. Obviously, we can all tell that this is the better eye. Looks way better than the other one, so... Yeah, that's nice. I ain't never seen two pretty eyes. One of them always gotta be messed up and ugly. Okay, do you see this? But this one got more up here. Like, I didn't ask for that. Okay. What should I do with that? Perfect. Okay, and then let's do this one. That's more of a pink than the orange. And I couldn't find my brown one. So I couldn't like... Do like a really good fall look. Like I wanted to. If I had the brown one, it would look really, really cute. Like really cute. Brown one is. Okay, I'm gonna try and do that with this instead because this might turn out more orangey. Instead of pink. Because I didn't ask for pink. I wanted orange. <laughs> this looks more orange, right? I feel like that's more red than orange, but at least it matches better and isn't pink, a color that wasn't even put in this. Red matches better than pink, so I'm happy with that. Turned out pretty good. And I'm just gonna wear a basic outfit because I started my period. Periods ruin things. But here it is. Um, I don't know how to show this to you with good lighting. 
probably like that. Probably like how I just did that. So this is it. This is what it looks like. Okay, ignore that. Sorry. <laughs> um... I think it's pretty cute. Pretty cute. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.